guys, welcome back to my channel. So for any of you who don't know, the um, Met Gala was on last night and it's just this huge event at the Met Museum in New York and honestly it's a time where I feel like every celebrity just steps outside of their boundaries, tries new hair, makeup, outfits. The, like, the dress is just amazing. Everybody always looks top-notch, super high fashion, and a lot of people are trying out really dramatic looks. So one of my favorite makeup looks from that night was the makeup that Selena Gomez had on, which looks something like what I've recreated here. So um, I really wanted to create this look because it's very different. I really like the, like, bright 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 pink and I feel like a lot of people don't ever do that to their eyes so it's definitely something different and something different for myself um, now okay I know some people might hate me for saying this I don't really even like Selena Gomez to be honest I am NOT a fan of hers but her makeup artist seriously her makeup artist killed this look so I just had to recreate it I have to say that my favorite um, best dressed for um, the Met Gala Number one, I know this is controversial because I'm doing a Selena Gomez makeup look, but my very favorite look from that night was by Bella Hadid. Oh my god, that freaking cat suit was everything. Like, she just looked so hot. Her outfit just screamed, I am here to stunt on my ex-boyfriend and his new girlfriend, who was also kind of my friend. Like, I just, I couldn't get over her look. Honestly, Bella Hadid looked amazing. And then my second favorite after that was Kendall Jenner. I was loving the nudity from her. Like, honestly, that girl just really pulls it off and takes things to the, to like the next level. So yeah, Kendall Jenner and Bella Hadid, like, seriously killed it. So Selena's makeup artist, his name is Hung Van Gogh, and if you search that name on Instagram, he'll come up. Um, so he tagged that he used all Marc Jacob beauty products for Selena's look. So I went to my local Sephora today just to look for the product, and I couldn't find anything. So unless he used something that was like from the past that they no longer sell, or maybe just the Sephora I was at didn't carry it, um, which is highly unlikely because this Sephora like pretty much carries everything. It's the one on Bloor Street if you're familiar with Toronto. So anyways, they didn't have anything um, related or anything of that color. So I ended up sticking with the cream matte shadow stick from Sephora, which you'll see once I get into the video. It didn't blend that well. Honestly, I wouldn't recommend buying it. I made it work for this look, but it, I just had like a hell of a time blending it. Anyways, enough talking, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so starting off, I'm starting to fill in my brows using Benefits Cabrow. This is in number four. And Selena's eyebrows were pretty natural looking. Um, if you look at the picture, they looked kind of like unkempt. Um, and I kind of like that because I'm not always a big fan of like super like defined brows. So as you can see, I kind of lightly filled in this side and now I'm about to do this side and I also have already done my foundation so I just used the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea foundation um, and prior to that I used the Josie Marin Argan Oil. Now I'm not using the brush that comes with Cabrow just because I find that a thicker brush like this one with an angle will give you a bit more of like that um, natural fluffier look Whereas with the other really skinny brush, I have a really hard time using it. Um, my brows always turn out like really boxy and they just look weird. Also, another thing to mention, I've already went ahead and primed my lids using Urban Decay's Primer Potion, which you could have probably already guessed. Like, this is like the only eye primer that I use. I love it so much. <laughs> and I made sure to bring it like all the way up to, um, to the eyebrow because with this look, Selena's makeup really comes up high, so you want to make sure like everything is prompt. Okay, so then I'm going to take my bristled eyebrow brush and just kind of mess up my brows just a little bit. You don't want to like do it too much. I like to kind of just brush them up like this and then kind of lay them flat. That way they don't look so perfect. So just brush them up. And then kind of 
lay them flat. And you can see it does kind of give your brows more of like a messier look and they don't look perfect. But next, um, I'm gonna start off with a vanilla creamy kind of base. So I'm using the color Foxy from my Naked 2 palette and it's a matte color. You don't want anything shimmery. Um, and then I'm gonna be using this brush. This is just the brush that comes with the Naked 2 palette from Urban Decay. And I'm going to cover my entire lid. And you really want to focus this color a lot on the inner corner and then just drag it out. So to start off that really like fuchsia bright color, I'm going to be using um, Sephora's Colorful Shadow and Liner. Um, this is what it looks like. So it's like a cream to shadow um, stick, cream to powder stick, and this is the color here. And I'm going to start off by just like very loosely um, focusing this on the outer corner. And you can see I've kind of done like a squared shape. So I don't want it to be like rounded out too, too much. Okay, so it should look something like this now, which looks pretty crazy but now what you want to do is take a synthetic brush and use that to blend this out now the reason why you want to use the synthetic is because it doesn't collect the makeup so much and it's really good um, as opposed to natural brushes for cream based and liquid based so using this one here I'm just going to start buffing this out And also dragging this color you can see I'm like dragging it in okay so I'm taking this brush and Dragging the color along my lash line. I do have to say that this isn't blending as well as I thought it would. I tried this in the store on my hand and like blended it out and was like this will be perfect and now that it's on my lid it's not, it's not that good. So on this eye I'm going to add a little bit more product here like you can see I'm really having to like work at the lids here just to get this product to blend so I kind of wish I chose I was actually deciding between a makeup forever single shadow or the shadow stick and I went with the stick because I thought oh like the consistency blah 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 but the consistency is not great all right next I'm taking this again and just going really close to the lash line just like this like very soft and then taking my flat shader brush and I'm gonna smoke it out so you can see that I'm leaving that like white open there um, you don't want to bring the shadow any further like it's almost like a er, like a half of a rainbow or something so you want to keep that open um, if you're doing this look because that is where we're going to really highlight and add a bit more of that shadow that we started off with so this is what you should have right now I know it looks wild but now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start um, deepening everything and I'm actually going to use a blush for that this is the blush um, tango by Hikari and using again um, actually I'm using a synthetic brush for this one um, I'm going to just lightly dust that over here
Now what I'm gonna do is go back in with the color that we started with, that foxy color in the Naked 2 palette, and lightly dab that here in the corner. I'm gonna use my Tartelette palette, and there's a color in here called Caregiver. It's like a nice pinky color, and I'm going to start putting that here. And then on top of that, I'm going to add this shimmery color called Booty Call. And this is from the Naked 2 palette. Now, Selena didn't really have too much liner going on, but she did darken her lash line. So I'm using this um, cream gel liner from Marc Jacobs, and this is just in the color black. So to line your tight line, um, it is something you really have to get used to, but and it can tickle, but it really intensifies your look. Um, it really just kind of, you know when like somebody has their lashes on or their mascara on, they look up, you can see that white line? That just gets rid of the white line. I'm going to go ahead and conceal my under eyes. I'm using the Tarte Rainforest of the Sea Concealer, and this is in the shade Light Neutral. So I'm just going to set my under eyes now with the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. And to do that, I'm using my Beauty Blender. And I'm just going to take some on, dab it underneath my eyes. I'm not really doing baking here. I'm just kind of pressing it in. And now what I'm going to do is take just a really neutral color. And I'm going to brush that onto my lower lash line. And I'm going to use this brush here from Morphe, and I'm going to use the color Free Spirit, um, and I might mix it with Force of Nature, actually, from the Tartelette palette. So I'm just going to mix the two together, and then just put this on my lower lash line. This doesn't really, you might be looking, thinking like, what's the point of this step? But once the look all comes together, it just kind of warms up um, underneath a little, a little bit, just because the lid is so cool tone and bright. This just kind of gives like a really nice contrast, and it makes the look look finished because we're not doing anything on the bottom lash. We're just focusing on the lid. This just really pulls the look together and will make it just look a bit more finished and a bit more polished. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes and apply a couple of coats of mascara. Selena didn't really have like a lot of lashes going on or anything like that. So, just going to keep it natural. This is my natural daytime look. The next step that I'm going to do is start warming up my face a little bit. So I'm going to use the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil um, bronzer, and this is just a mini sample. Sephora actually had these um, for the 100 point gifts, and I bought three of them because I just love how mini they are, and it's honestly such a good product. So I'm going to just take my brush and start warming up my face just on the side here. We're not going to do all over bronzer or anything like that. It's just going to be like placed very specifically on the cheeks. And I'm using a fluffy brush because I want it to be more natural. I don't want it to be harsh looking. I think with this look, my absolute favorite blush from MAC, which is Peach Twist, I think will go good with this, just to kind of warm up the face a bit, because the eyes are so cool. Um, as you can tell, I need to buy a new one. This is definitely running out. So, just going to lightly apply this. So now that we have the blush on, the next step that I want to do 
Um, now that the mascara is a bit dry, is I'm going to be using the Tarte Inner Rim Liner. This product is one of my favorites. I've been using it forever. It's one of those like staple items in my makeup kit. And what I'll be doing is, it's just like this really opaque and matte um, peach color. I'm gonna be using this to line my waterline. So I do, I really hope that it's picking up here on the camera. Um, but this really opens up the bottom lid and just really, really brightens your eye. I love wearing this sometimes even with just mascara. Um, it's really awesome. Selena's lips for this look were very nude. So what I think I'm gonna use is Max Boldly Bare Lip Lock. Now Selena already naturally has bigger lips, but in that picture, like, holy crap, her lips were massive. Of course, she was, like, puckering them out, but you could tell that it was really overdrawn. Now, on top of this liner, I'm going to be using my favorite lipstick ever, and that's Ferris Nude from L'Oreal. So I am going to add just a really small amount of highlighter just to the end of my nose. I'm using the Becca Opal Highlighter and literally just going to do this and a little bit there, a little bit in the center as well. She wasn't highlighted too much, but I did notice in the picture that the tip of her nose was highlighted. It didn't look like anything else was, it could have just been the picture, but honestly I don't think this look really calls for that much highlight anyways. Okay guys, so that is the completed look. I actually like this look on myself a lot more than I thought I would, and this is actually something that I'd be comfortable enough to wear in public. When I first looked at Selena's picture, I thought, okay, this is just going to be a fun tutorial just to kind of recreate her look. But I actually find this to be very wearable, especially with spring and summer coming up. And it's pretty easy to do. It's just time consuming in terms of the blending. So anyways, I hope that you guys like this look. Thank you so much for watching my channel. And if you want to see any other recreations or any looks in general, let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.